two broke rednecks present. But I don't want any paper products. But I have good table manners. No, you don't. So she's a doctor of housework? Someone call the fashion police. Hi, Mom. The coach really gave us a workout. Oh, boy, ham. Shut the hell up, son and eight. I'm neutral to see what he gave us to do. Shut up, huh? Could you serve yourself in a, in a less athletic manner? Oh. Is this better? Can I slap him? At least you could manage to be on time. After your mother goes to all the trouble to prepare a fine meal, it's... It's only common courtesy, Chuck. And the I next know, time you're late, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Never mind. He did wash up and brush his hair. By the way, Chuck, I saw Barbara's mother downtown. That's quite a supper party she's planning. Mm. Is it this Friday? I'm not going. Why not? Because I'm gay. Oops. Well, I have to have a reason, but all your friends will be there. I ain't crawling, not gay. Chuck, don't talk with your mouth full. He's really gonna beat your ass. Let me read the script so I know what I'm doing. Good night, Chuck. Good night, have a good time. Thank you, Chuck. Night good night. Dad. His parents sleep at a different house. Oh, who wants to go to a supper party? You do, Chuck. He oh, must be tripping on some serious acid if he's seeing his older Chuck. self. I am the young man you are going to be in a few short years. Bitch, you stole my outfit! Well, if you say so. <laughs> and take it from me. When we're my age, we won't be turning down invitations. Does this mean I'll get laid? Tell me, why aren't you going? I don't know. I do. You're worried about not doing the right thing. Your table manners. No, I feel someone there will have cooties. You may not care much about table manners now, but when you grow up to be me, then you'll care. Screw Why? you, hallucination. Why does it matter? For several reasons. Look, maybe I can show you. Let's imagine the family at dinner with nobody minding his manners. <laughs> hey, it's pretty. the Hunger Games. Each person busy feeding his face, showing no consideration for the others. People become irritated, angry. No one can enjoy a meal like this. No. Meal time is a time for pleasure and relaxation. And you make it's it sound so dirty. The has to talk together. Exchange bits of news. Make plans. When everybody eats properly, the meal goes better. And everybody has more fun. What's His hallucinations are getting worse. We digest our food better. And ask your doctor if that isn't important to your health. But there's oh no man, this is that? the worst acid trip How I've been on. You'll be going out to make your own way in the world. Not very long, I guess. Dad Whatever says he's do, tossing me out when I turn go, 18. You want to put your best foot forward. Here, let's try another trick. Let's change that to a table in a restaurant. You're taking oh, a girl great. Out now I'm seeing restaurant tables. What was in to that make acid? A good impression, you must know what to do. Who seats the girl? When you sit? How to order your meal? Of course, this sucks. The captain demoted me now I gotta wait on this smoke. Show herself at her best. Then you must know how to eat your meal. And the only way to have good table manners when you want them is to practice them regularly at home. Get in the habit of eating properly, so it just comes naturally. Or, take another case. Say you're having lunch with your boss. And he farts. Say he's thinking about somebody to fill a good position that's opening up. Well, put yourself in the boss's place. Would you give the job to a fellow like this? Or to a fellow who thinks that table manners are silly? You see what I mean about putting your best foot forward? I'm gonna put my best foot forward in your ass. Because people judge many things about you just by the way you eat. Those people are too All judgmental. Right, maybe so, but it's 
It's all so complicated. Is it? Look, there's nobody here. Let's try it out. What do you mean? Come on. Besides, that supper party sounds good. If we know what to do, I think we'll want to go. Well... Look sharp now. I'm a creepy there. sorcerer. The place setting properly arranged. It looks all right, but what am I supposed to do? That's the question. Well, what would you do if you sat down to dinner and found three forks, like this? I'd probably end up with one left over and wonder what I did wrong. Not if you remember one simple rule. Always use silverware from the outside in. Man, this so hallucination is bossy. Outside, use this for your salad, this for your main course, and this... Why, that one must be for the dessert. You see? It's easy. But there's something funny here. Doesn't the butter knife belong here? Well, the book says either place. And speaking of the book, it wouldn't hurt you to use one sometime and check up on any points that you're not sure of. Like how not to be in more of these stupid cool, films. I'll have to be careful who sees me reading it. <laughs> Don't worry, you can manage that. And now to use these things. Let's have some Now food. he's seeing food? What sort of acid trip is Thanks. this? Too bad you've just eaten. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Things will be easier if you'll remember that in eating, there are three kinds of food. Finger foods, fork foods, and spoon foods. Now, clean dry foods, bread is one of them, are finger foods. I'd rather not finger my food. Or sticky, you better use a fork. Yeah, like a cream puff? That's the idea. Now, fork foods include meats, potatoes, vegetables, salads, and many others. There's a right way to hold a fork, and this is it. Uh, dude, you got your fork sideways. Don't put onto your fork any more than one mouthful of food. Oh yes, after you've placed food on your fork, if you decide to talk, lay it down until you're ready to eat. It looks better. And this is the way to park a fork, after you've used it. Not propped up on the edge of the plate, huh? That's the idea. Here, now you try it. Okay. And when he comes down from this acid trip, he discovers he's eating doing. the cat. The folks say I do it wrong. Hey, that's not only the wrong way, it's the hard way. Here, try this. Put the ends of both the handles in the palms of your hands, like that. Hold the meat with your fork. Hot, meat cutting action. Don't tear it apart. See, this is better. You see, good table manners are just common sense. Is that right? Yes, that's the way most people in America handle their knife and fork. We the rest are commies. But now, after you've finished eating... I have. You place your knife and fork this way, to show that you have finished. But what about spoon foods? Oh, yes. All right. How do you manage soup? Hi, it's cream of barf! You never tip the bowl, and you dip the soup away from you. Not too much in the spoon, and you eat from the side of the spoon. Is this a Campbell's soup commercial? And now, would you care for some turnips? Bitch, get that shit away from me. Um, no, thank you. That's the idea, Chuck. Courtesy, consideration for others, common sense. That's what table manners are. You mean that's all there is to table manners, just what we've talked about? Oh, no. But you already know a great deal. Like and not sticking your wang in the food. And dad and other people who have good manners. But the main thing is... The main thing is, is to practice at home so that table manners will come naturally and I won't have to think about them when I'm out. You exactly. Now I don't oh. have to bitch slap Let's you. Let's do the dishes. Mother should see that. Well, Chuck, are we going to that party? Sure we are. We are. Great, he's That's taking right, his hallucination Chuck. with we him. We are going to the party. You can't see me any longer, but remember... I'm the fellow you're going to be, so I'm interested in seeing that you always make a good impression. This really isn't hard, is it? You know what to do. Just stand up and volunteer as tribute. Ladies first into the dining room. And now what? Right again. Find your place and remain standing. Now get ready for a game of musical chairs. You see, Chuck, it's easy to do the right thing if you remember courtesy, consideration of others, and common sense. 
And also remember, you're here not to see how much or how fast you can eat, but to have a good time. But I'm hungry! Well, our boy is doing all right. Don't you think so? Don't you think you can do the same? Thank God that film is over. Now, will someone come in here and please burn the film? Dear Broke Rednecks, we don't make bad movies. We make bad movies better.